Hello Kauai, here's our COVID-19 briefing from Team Kauai for Friday, December 18th. Happy Aloha Friday. The Department of Health is reporting no new cases today. We currently have 12 active cases, all are in isolation and one is hospitalized on Oahu. We have 71 people in health directed quarantine as close contacts. Our cumulative case count is now 157, including 138 confirmed locally, one probable, and 18 tested elsewhere, but reported after arrival on island. All this week, police and the National Guard have been tracking between two and 3,000 people in travel-related quarantine. For additional information on our COVID cases, please visit koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. We are preparing for the first round of vaccines to be distributed on Kauai. In accordance with federal guidelines, vaccines will be distributed in phases, starting with healthcare workers and residents and staff of long-term care facilities. First responders will be next, followed by other essential workers, and then those with chronic conditions that put them at increased risk of severe disease and our kupuna over the age of 65. The first delivery of vaccines to Koi hospitals for healthcare workers could start as early as Monday. We expect to receive a limited number of doses initially, then more in the weeks and months to come. We will continue to keep you updated as more information is available. Vaccines are important in helping us achieve herd immunity. While getting vaccinated is completely voluntary, the goal is to vaccinate 70% of our population. It is a massive national effort to vaccinate tens of millions of people. This process is expected to take well into next year, so it remains important that we continue to keep our guard up and diligently wear our masks, maintain our distance, wash our hands often, keep shared surface sanitized, and please avoid large gatherings. Just as these vaccines are rolling out, we are receiving word that criminals are taking this opportunity to scam people. The Federal Trade Commission, Department of Homeland Security, and other law enforcement partners are warning about fraud related to COVID-19 vaccines. Here are some red flags that people should watch out for. The Department of Health will not charge anyone or ask for out-of-pocket payments to get the vaccine during this public health emergency. You do not need to and you cannot pay to put your name on a list to get the vaccine or get early access to a vaccine. No one from the Department of Health or a vaccine distribution site will ask for your social security number or confidential financial information such as credit cards or bank accounts. For more information, please visit the Federal Trade Commission website at ftc.gov forward slash coronavirus. Governor Ige has instituted a new 10-day travel quarantine. As this goes into effect, we have asked Dr. Janet Behrman to re review what that means. Mahalo, Mayor Kawakami. Governor Ige's 17th emergency proclamation reduces the mandatory travel quarantine from 14 days to 10 days. Additionally, the health-directed quarantine for close contacts of positive cases has also been reduced to 10 days. These changes are in accordance with updated CDC guidelines. It's important to understand that the change in quarantine period is not because anything has changed about the virus itself or our understanding of how it has spread. The incubation period, the time it can take to become sick after being exposed, is 14 days. The Centers for Disease Control recognized the challenges of maintaining a 14-day quarantine and now offers three acceptable approaches to quarantine. The standard 14-day quarantine, a 10-day quarantine, and a 7-day quarantine followed by a COVID-19 test. The shorter the quarantine period, the more cases we know will occur after the quarantine and thus pose a risk of exposure in the community. The Hawaii Department of Health has opted for the 10-day quarantine to reduce the burden on residents while still providing strong protection. The recent change in the travel quarantine is in line with the Department of Health guidelines. The seven-day quarantine with a test is not an option in Hawaii. After being released from the 10-day quarantine, people can still become ill for up to four more days. 
That means it's especially important that those released from quarantine stay attentive and follow the protocols of wearing masks, maintaining distance, and avoiding large groups of people. If you become ill in the four days after quarantine, please consult with a healthcare provider to be tested. As a reminder, the CDC continues to recommend against travel, as cases are at record levels on the mainland. Please travel only for essential needs. Mahalo for your continued cooperation with safe holiday celebrations. Thank you, Dr. Berriman. If you are a Kauai resident interested in being tested for COVID-19, there are two opportunities left to get free testing at the Department of Health and County of Kauai's community testing sites. Testing is offered from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. this Sunday, December 20th at Vidina Stadium in Lihue, and Sunday, December 27th at the Brian J. Baptiste Sports Complex in Kapa'a. These tests are available to all residents for free, including those who are uninsured. Please pre-register at koi.gov forward slash test. Bring your registration confirmation and an ID to the testing site. Test results generally arrive in three to five days. If you are experiencing symptoms, please do not wait for surge testing. Call a healthcare provider to get tested as soon as possible. If you receive a positive test notification from any of the community testing programs, please immediately inform the Koi District Health Office at 241-3387. If you plan on participating in surge testing, please consider supporting the Toys for Tots toy drive. The County, Department of Health, and Kauai Marine Corps League will conduct drive-up Toys for Tots drop-offs at each of the surge testing locations. You can get a test and also drop off a new unwrapped toy in a safe, socially distanced manner at the same time. A toy donation is not required to participate in the free testing program. If you're still doing holiday shopping, please consider shopping local this year. One way to do that safely is to visit koimade.net. You'll find all Koimade products and gifts for the holidays. Additionally, you may purchase Koimade gift baskets at malamakauai.store. Work Life Hawaii is offering phone counseling sessions for Koi residents of all ages who may be anxious or feeling overwhelmed. These services are free and confidential and are available until December 28th, Monday to Friday, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. There is no shame. This year has been hard for all of us and we all need support sometimes. To make an appointment for a phone counseling session, please call Work Life Hawaii at 808-543-8445. Requests made as early as possible will allow adequate time to fulfill your request. The county and the two Koi food banks continue the Kupa'a Koi food distribution every week through the end of the year for food insecure individuals and families. Households can pick up food once per week, but must pre-register. Registration starts on Saturdays for the next week, and you're asked to register at least 48 hours before the distribution. Please be sure your email is correct. To register or for distribution times and locations, please visit kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19 and click on the green button that says food distribution. There are other food outreach efforts underway as well. These images are from a distribution yesterday, December 17th, to 300 families for unemployed workers at Koloa Landing. It was supported by Kikaha Agricultural Association, Aina Ho'okupu o Kilauea, and Hawaii Food Bank Koa'i Branch. In addition to other donations, there was more than 400 pounds of island-raised shrimp from Koa'i Shrimp. This independent food distribution also received help from Willie Sanchez, Harold Vidina, and Kanaka School. The Friday, December 18th distribution is focused at Keka at the park and Kanaka School. Saturday's outreach at Koi Philippine Cultural Center will serve 350 families. In observance of Christmas Day, county offices will be closed on December 25th along with all refuse transfer stations, the Kekaha Landfill, the Kapa'a and Waimea Swimming Pools, the Wailua Golf Course, High Five Bottle Redemption and Puhi Meadows Recycling Center. The Koi bus will not be operating on the holiday. The schedule for residential refuse pickup, 
will remain unchanged. Normal business hours for county offices and services will resume on Monday, December 28th. Mahalo for understanding the role you play in mitigating the spread of COVID-19 on our island. Please continue to stay home as much as possible. Refrain from social gatherings or public outings. If you must interact with people outside of your home, maintain a distance of six feet of separation and wear a mask, if at all possible for you to do so. Remember, my mask protects you and your mask protects me. It's a sign of respect and aloha. Do not leave home if you are sick unless you're seeking medical attention and then only after calling your doctor first. Wash your hands frequently and clean surfaces often. Stay informed and connected during this time of social distancing. We'll continue to post updates on our official County of Kauai Facebook page or on our Kauai Emergency Management Agency page at www.koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. The Centers for Disease Control is also updating its website regularly. For more information, please visit coronavirus.gov. Not everyone has internet access or follows the news, so please help to keep your loved ones informed. Be kind, take care of one another, God bless and aloha.